Thursday, we had a little cloud cover in the morning hours, a couple of showers as well, but nothing like what they're getting in the eastern half of the U.S. As you can see, we've got rain and snow stretching from the Great Lakes all the way down to Florida, at times creating some major problems. This is the same line of action that blew trucks off the freeways yesterday in Iowa, created some downed trees. We had hail from pea to golf ball size throughout much of the upper Midwest Plain states, and of course it's still going on. Our fear is that rain in New England could create flooding issues yet again for folks in Maine, uh, New Jersey, for example, perhaps all the way down to the Carolinas. Here in the West, we're seeing a brief break, but there is a chance for more showers coming our way by the weekend. Now, tomorrow it should be dry, but cooler than normal, and tonight it's going to be cold enough that we might actually see some frost issues throughout the region. So folks in the orchard industry, even backyard gardeners, should take care of their plants. You can see scattered showers still showing up on the Pacific Northwest radar throughout the region. The heaviest, of course, well to our north. Here in Southern Oregon and Northern California, uh, we've got a bit of an unusual situation. Now, this first portion of the radar cycle, fairly bland and typical, but then you see these bands of very distinct cloud cover moving into the region. That is not rain, that is not snow, believe it or not. Military aircraft flying through the region, dropping chaff. Small bits of aluminum, sometimes it's made of plastic or uh, even uh, metallicized, uh, metallicized paper products. But it's used as an anti-radar issue and obviously they're up there practicing. Now they won't confirm that, but I was in the Marine Corps for many years and I'll tell you right now, that's what it is. Uh, 50 in Medford right now, 48 in Wairika, 42 in Klamath Falls. Forecast for tonight, clear and cold, little patchy valley fog. And of course we've got frost and freeze warning up throughout the entire region, 25 to 30 tonight in Southern Oregon's valleys. Coast